This is Erwin Schrodinger. He was born in Vienna, Austria in 1877, and he spoke both German and English because his parents spoke both around the house. In 1898, Schrodinger attended the Akademisches Gymnasium, which is not actually a gym, but a college. Ah, we have reached the text block of death. I'm going to assume that you can't read and read the entire thing for you. So, Schrodinger studied under Franz Serafin Exner and Frederick Hassenroll from 1906 to 1910. In 1911, he became Exner's assistant. In 1918, he worked as a commissioned officer of the Austrian Fortress Artillery during the war. On April 6, 1920, he married Anne-Marie Bertel. Also in 1920, he became the assistant to Max Wayne and attained the position of, oh my god, something professor. In 1921, he became a full professor and moved to the University of Zurich. In January 1926, Schrodinger published in Annalen der Physik, the paper on wave mechanics that is now known as the Schrodinger Equation. This created a revolution in quantum mechanics and is regarded as one of the most important achievements of the 20th century. In 1933, Schrodinger left Germany and became a fellow of Magdalen College at the University of Oxford. Amazingly enough, there were, no there were Nobel Prizes back then, and he won one along with Paul Adrian Maurice Dirac shortly after arriving at the University of Oxford. In 1936, Erwin went back to Austria and took up a position at the University of Graz. Alright, Schrodinger's cat. Uh, it was a thought experiment. Um, it's kind of complicated. The main point is Schrodinger hated cats. But not really, so here's how it worked. Uh, Schrodinger took some radioactive material and he put it with a radiation detector so then he took a hammer and he hooked it up to the radiation detector so that when the radiation detector detected radiation the hammer would break a vial of cyanide and then he took all that stuff and threw it in a box and inside of that box he placed an innocent little cat poor thing Anyway, his idea here is that since the radiation detector does not have a 100% detection rate, uh, and you're not observing this happening, the box should be closed, um, the cat is both dead and alive at the same time. And it's pretty freaky because it kind of makes sense. So, in 1938, Schrodinger again left Austria because he had a problem with the Nazis and Hitler had just taken over. He was put down for many years after recounting his opinion to Nazism and ended up fleeing to Italy with his wife. In 1940, Erwin became the director of, of the School for Theoretical Physics and Institute for Advanced Studies in Ireland and stayed there for 17 years. In 1944, he wrote What is Life, which contained the concept of a complex molecule with a genetic code for living organisms. This book inspired James D. Watson's discovery of the DNA double helix. In 1955, Schrodinger retired, and in 1956, he traveled back to his hometown of Vienna, where he eventually died in 1961.